girls welcome back to the channel i apologize in advance if it's a little echoey in this room if you haven't been keeping up with me i am getting a puppy in literally four days and so the room that we film in is also the puppers room so we've switched up a lot the walls are very empty but i'm hoping to fill those very soon within the four days and it'll be better but just excuse it from now on going forward with the video today though we have an all-time favorite on my channel an amazon inspired video <sighs> every time i do one i think that i find the best and the cutest but then i do more shopping and i find even better ones and so i'm so excited as always as always you guys these will be linked down below so it's the easiest way to shop and in order but make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you love content like this. We're going to start with my favorite that I'm looking forward the most. This is going to be an insanely, insanely close inspired item. If you don't know already, I have to be careful with how I word just stuff in these videos. Just being a part of the Amazon affiliate program. So inspired is our word. But I will let you know if it's going to be a super, super close one. Typically, I'm like, wink, wink. So this is one of those. Here it is. It is a YSL wink, wink type of sunny. Right off the bat, I have done a Prada version of the sunnies. And they are literally wrapped up the same exact way. And the Prada ones are super popping. Such a nice carrying case. Let's get into it. I'm so excited, you guys. Let me turn it around. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I found. That's what I found. Ooh. My goodness. Holy moly. I know you guys can see that. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Amazon. Amazon. So they're definitely giving more cat eye and then they have just a regular lens. It's not like a fade or anything like that. But yeah, it's definitely tapered up here. Give it a little cat eye. Hopefully they don't look too buggy on me. But literally so cute. If you're ever looking for a good pair of inspired sunglasses, Amazon. Amazon. I've hauled Miu Miu, I've hauled YSL, Gucci, I've hauled, I can't think of Prada, like literally any and everything and they're like pretty much exact. So for pricing for these, these were right under $29 so you're not breaking the bank. They're a little bit more up there but it's a good quality piece. And the frame even, it feels very sturdy. It's a thick plastic, my little nubs. I need to paint my fingers, but I'm letting them have a break. But anyway, super cute, very nice. I'm like giving a little bit of a retro vibe, but let's put these on. Ooh, I like them a bit more than what I actually thought. I think I was thinking they were gonna make me look insanely bug-eyed, but the cat eye effect really brings the roundness up here all together but let's turn to the side what do we think i know for sure these are so cute here's this side literally so cute but let me go ahead and get a little bit more up close and you can for sure see the detailing so stinking cute so cute they definitely speak for themselves and just the black and gold just it goes with any and everything girls any and everything oh literally i'm just noticing too there is some little wording right there on the lens and i think we all know what it says it matches the little ysl so that is so freaking cool and you can actually see out of these ones too and they're like clear sometimes a lot of little inspired glasses they can tend to be a little foggy if, i don't know if you try them out you know what i'm talking about but these ones are like crystal clear really great really great quality and they remind me of the brown ones so definitely pick these up girls definitely pick them up 
Okay, moving on to a bag. We love a good black bag, and this right here is a good, nice looking black bag. It reminds me a lot of Celine, and so let me just unwrap it so you guys can see for yourself. It feels so nice, like right off the bat. Ooh, that is so cute. It needs to be stuffed, but look at this. Doesn't this just give you Celine vibes? Like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That emblem is so freaking cute. Um, like I said, it needs to be stuffed. Like, it's kind of pressed in and indented, but also that's kind of like the shape of the bag. Like, it's just, I don't know. It's a little diagonal, but it's still really, really cute. Let me see what the strap, like what we're working with. This one looks to be not that expensive. Like it's literally right around $16. So I'm intrigued for sure. There's two straps that it comes with. One being this little shoulder strap. And it is a little bit adjustable, so there's only two notches right here where it connects to the bag. Hopefully you can see that. There's a hole here and a hole here. And on both sides, it looks like that. So you can make it a little bit shorter if you need to. And then let's go ahead and look inside the bag. So it's just this nice magnetic closure, and it's a really nice closure, like happy duty. So that's keto points, very easy to close. And then inside of it, it's pretty structured. There is some printed fabric. Oh, that's why, like, it looks like one of the little bubbles popped, so that may be why it's a little pressed. But that's okay, you can easily fix that. You do have more of a fabric -y material inside, and I don't know if you can see that, but there is a print to it. Let's see. It says Clucy, C-L-U-C-I. I don't know, but there is a zipper pocket on this one side. Nice little size, you can fit a small phone and it zips really nicely. And then there is sewn in pockets on the other one. That is cute, I like that it's a brown, not like a really light white cream. Like that's a really nice color, especially if you're carrying like loose change, makeup items that may get in your bag. Super cute, definitely giving very classy. And then back here, there is a little slip um, pocket, which these are my favorite, literally, because you can easily just slip your phone, ignore its charging, but when you have it on, you can just grab it, and that's that. Like, you don't have to try to get into your bag. It's not a little hassle, so that's definitely one of my favorite favorite things ever on a bag. Let's get into the strap here. So it's really nice that it comes with this option to be a crossbody. And I do like how they rolled the strap. That's how you don't get creases in your strap. You gotta roll them out. The actual clasp kind of reminds me of Louis Vuitton. Let me show you, hang on. Oh, this is what the clasp looks like. Doesn't that remind you of Louis Vuitton? I don't know, but I really like the gold color. It's not too yellow, it's not too orange, it's really nice. And then the actual belt feels really good. I mean, for this bag being right about $16, like this is fantastic quality. And then here is the extender, it's a belt, super nice. I think they look really fancy on straps like this. Like 16 bucks, that's like the price you find at Ross for a purse or Marshalls, and the quality is a lot better in my opinion. But the little shoulder strap can come off by this like adjustable area. So I'm gonna take it off so you can see what the strap looks like. Cute, ooh, okay. Let's step back. We're gonna try it both ways, but first, crossbody. All right. So I have my favorite scooter on, duh. I wore it in my last video, I think. I don't know, but it's a different day. I promise, this has been watched. <laughs> but crossbody wise, here's what it looks like. It is not on the shortest. So this is a really nice size, especially if you're a lot taller. Let me go ahead and shorten this up so we can see though. I am 5'2", so that is something to keep in mind. 
So not bad at all. You can easily get into your purse, grab whatever you need, easily just close it up. Definitely very cute. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I think the gold coloring and just like the structure of it is very thick. It feels nice, looks good. It makes it look really luxurious. But you'll have to let me know down below what you think. Let me just put it on my shoulder. This. Let me see if I can show you this. But you just put it around here. And then you either loop it on this first hole or this second hole. Push it through. And then you have this little loop. And you tuck that end piece under. So it closes like that. And I actually really like that. I think it looks really fancy that way. All right, so this is the shortest it can go. Right over my shoulder. Ooh, very comfy. Definitely very comfy. You can easily put it on and off. Very nice. It doesn't sit too high, like right up here. It's right at my um, elbow here. So it just kind of fits really well. And the shape of it, it's not too bulky. So it's very comfy. The sheen of this just looks so gorgeous. Definitely gives me Selena vibes. That's for sure. Next item is a jewelry piece. So this is going to be a little David Yurman inspired bracelet. When I saw this online, I was like, this is the one. There's definitely several options to choose from on Amazon, but the two toned, just the detailing within this um, bracelet here just looks so luxurious to me. And I'm sure you can hear that. Very nice weight, like very nice weight. I'm so excited, girls. I'm so excited. It looks so beautiful. Just the tones as well. Let's put it on. Also, another thing to note is that the clasp at the bottom is a silver and then the other side is a gold. I will have to put mine on the tightest one. I have such tiny wrists, so... Sometimes bracelets don't always work out for me, but I love this style. Okay, so this is on the uh, tiniest. Hopefully you can see. Yeah, you can see. So this is on the tiniest little notch there. Um, a little big, but it's not bad. Like, I could still get away with this. It definitely helps that it's a chunky little bracelet because it just ties into the actual style of it and this is like with my hand forward it looks like this so it's not gonna like fall off if it was any bigger it definitely would for all though it is not bad i can definitely get away with it just check it out on though can you imagine this layered which with a bunch of other stuff so nice a lot of times I get nervous opting for a David Yurman inspired pieces because they're a very popular inspired piece and I feel like a lot of times they can come off looking very cheap, like just plasticky, fake, cheap. This one though looks so expensive. I can't get over the weight of it too. Like it feels nice. It's not plasticky at all. And they just did a really good job with this coloring. It is so freaking adorable. So this one is right under $20, which I don't think is terrible, especially for the quality you're getting. Like if this was any more lightweight than when it was, or just the yellow gold tone to it wasn't coming across right, I would say eh, there's probably some other sellers that would sell better ones but this one i feel like is priced just right especially for the look i want to open another purse i am super excited for this one to see how it looks and see how it feels and i have never hauled a lookalike brand for this but this is going to be a stella mccartney purse which if you don't know, these purses are thousands of dollars, you guys. So to find a nice little inspired piece on Amazon is like 
I feel like I hit the jackpot, not even gonna lie. And this purse is right under $30. It feels already really nice, like it has good quality. So I'm hoping that it's just, it's good. I'm hoping, my hopes are up right now. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness, this looks like literally like the exact thing. Ooh, this is, this chaining is actual like metal. It's cold to the touch. That's such a good sign. Anything plastic chains literally will break on you. I promise you, girl. That happened to my favorite pair of sandals. Anything you hit is just, it's gonna crack. It's gonna crack. It doesn't hold up as well. But check out this. Look how pretty the little silvering is in this suede, which is so soft, by the way. They did such a good job. Oh my goodness. Here is what the side looks like. Let's see if I can puff it up just a little bit. And then the back of it. So cute. Okay, let's open it. Very nice. Just a little snap closure. And then, got our little crossfly strap. Oh, did you hear that? Like, that thing is metal. Okay, so the inside has this little cheetah print fabric. This bag is definitely not structured at all, so it's a little hard to show, but let's see. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Um, but on the one side, it has two sewn-in pockets. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can take it out. So, very soft fabric, not plasticky feeling at all. And then on the other side, they have a zipper pocket. Just a basic little one. You can fit a tiny phone in there. And let me close it. That works really nice. It's just such a cute little small size bag. I'm sure this would actually go really well with my outfits day. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try it on. I almost forgot to mention there is also a little closure here so you can keep your purse nice and secured which is very nice but let's go ahead and let's go ahead though and step back Ooh, that is super magnetic -y. that's very nice i can feel that really cool let's step back though and we'll see what it looks like on okay yeah, I would say this matches my outfit so well. I just love it so much. The little silver hint of this suede really pulls just everything together. And then I really love the dark hue of this like gunmetal chain. It is so cold, by the way. It's resting on my strap, but before that, it was on my skin. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm freezing. But literally looks exactly like the real thing. It looks so cute, so exciting. Expensive. It would look so good. Filled up with a bunch of stuff. I am literally so happy with this. I don't know if I mentioned, but this is literally right under $30. So, such a good deal. Such a good price. I love the size. It looks expensive. It feels and looks expensive. It's just so soft, yet so, like, heavy. I just really, really, really like this one. I get a little bit more up close. So the chain is not adjustable at all, by the way. It's one size, I am 5'2", so if you're taller, this would work as well for you. But just check out that sheen. It is so freaking cute. Yeah, I'm a fan. They did a really good job with this purse. I am definitely very impressed. It's one of the best ones I have come across, and I've come across a ton, but they did like really great with the materials. Another pair of funnies, you guys. And this one is going to be a Celine inspired piece. I'm excited to see what this looks like in person because in the photos, it looks like exact, if that makes sense. Um, so they looked so cute online. They're definitely more of a retro style that's so in right now. So there are a silver and a white. Let's see. It comes with a little carrying case and then a little wipe as well as a little screwdriver to tighten them. Okay, let's see, let's see. 
I don't know if I'm gonna like this style at all. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but we had to get them, we had to. So, as you can see, the white, and then that's definitely retro. Oh my goodness, okay. So, this is why I got them, because look at that design. They did such a good job, it looks Pretty dang close, if you ask me. Like, it's definitely from far away as well. Like, you're just like, oh, what? Chanel? Yeah, no, Chanel. <laughs> but the uh, lens is very nice. It's kind of almost rimless, but it has a tiny silver uh, frame here. And I think that looks super cute. And then here is the little band. They are a bit more skinnier and definitely gonna be a little bit more flimsy because of that. But it's the design. I don't know. Let's try them on. Should I wear them down here? It's definitely a really cute design. Like, it's definitely really in. How does that look? It's definitely different. I've never tried anything like it. If anything, I do think I like it because it tapers. <laughs> it's hard to see because it's so dark. But, yeah, I think I do like that. I don't know, though. You'll have to comment down below if this is your jam or not. It's either you like a really thick um, frame here or you like more skinny ones and this one definitely leans a bit more skinny but what do we think about this design I think it's so cute and there's little crystals here so it will definitely like really catch the sunlight um, but yeah here's from straight on super cute I feel like a little uh, I feel like a race car driver or something like that. It's a bit more up close. You can definitely see the little silver up here, which I think looks really expensive. And then this side. The silver definitely really switches things up because I typically opt for... Whoa, this almost got my eye. Black and gold. Yeah, black and gold. But this is silver. So definitely nice to have. And I think the design is definitely really in and just super cute. These ones are right under $15, which I don't think is bad at all, especially for the little design. It's definitely a really nice inspired piece. And if you're like me who gets the gold and black, it's something nice to have to switch up that wardrobe. Do I have a pair of shoes, girls? And not even shoes, heels. I should say heels. Um, so I saw these online and I was like, ooh, those are kind of cute. I want to try them and see what they look like in person. So these are going to be a little Jimmy Choo inspired heel. And they are like a little kitten heel, which I, I really, really like a good four inch heel. Not even going to lie, but your feet do kill. And I like comfortable, functional stuff. And so recently I've been making myself get more like baby heels, if not sandals. I even like wedges, some wedges, some are built a little funny, but I've been making myself get them because they're just more wearable. But let's unwrap this so we can take a look at the little sparkle here. Oh, how cute and classy. I had to go with a classic black uh, patent look and pump. They have a ton of colors, by the way. They even do like suede and satin, which is really cool. But I just love the classic little black. And then the, obviously, the little jeweled part. Here's a good up close shot for ya. These ones also were right under $40, which for a pair of shoes, it's not bad at all. Oh, it looks like they also come with a little heel lining. That's very nice, but I'm... Wait, okay, yeah, so they go on the bottom of your heel. I was like, wait, there's not a strap for your heel. How are you gonna use that? But yeah, it goes at the bottom for some more cushion. They do like, they do kind of puff up in the back here. So it has a tiny bit of foam. Not sure if you can see that. So I'm sure that will help a little bit, um, which is always very nice because when it's like super flat, it's like so uncomfy. And then the bottoms do look like this. They're nice, shiny, and smooth, which means they're slippery. So definitely need to be careful with that or you need to rough them up so you don't slip and slide because that would be... That would be not fun at all, but 
like how classy these look i'm very excited to try these on they look so gorgeous i feel like this haul to this haul today is very much more classy and sophisticated feeling i don't know but super cute let's try these on i'm typically a size seven and a half by the way so we'll see if they're true to size if they're uncomfy all that good stuff they probably won't match my outfit today but that's okay so they definitely do not go with my outfit today. My outfit's very beachy, casual, boho-y, and these are very timeless, classy, businessy. So it's definitely giving the wrong vibes for the outfit. But imagine, you know, maybe a cute little business casual dress, little dressy dress. These would look so cute on with them. And so I was noticing that the bottoms do say that they are a size seven, and I'm typically a size seven and a half. And I was like, wait. Hold up, why did I get a seven? In the reviews, the strap across was too big for a lot of the girls who were reviewing it. So I was like, okay, size down, since they said size down. And I think I could like get away with it. My heel though is definitely right at the edge of the shoe. If anything, they're spilling over just a tiny bit, like a sixteenth of an inch. Um, and then in the toe area, they feel a tiny bit snug. Like I would still be fine in this size, but they are a tiny bit snug. And I can see how like the strap just kind of naturally rests where it does on my foot. And when I like kind of bend my leg to like do a little step, I can feel that it is looser in that area. They literally look exactly like the Jimmy Chi version, like exactly. They're just so cute, timeless and classy. Um, so they're easy to walk in, which I really, really like, but I just, I don't know about the sizing. Maybe I need to get a seven and a half just to double check, but they look super cute on. I really, really like these. So like I mentioned, these are right under $40, but they're definitely a really well, you know, um, made shoe. The seams look really good. There's no like glue. You know, sometimes with cheap shoes, you can get like glue spewing out. Like there's no glue, there's nothing like that. Just a really cute inspired piece. Let's go ahead and get into an earring item. So this is going to believe, believe this is going to be a Christian Dior, very close. I get to go basically earring. And then here are the earrings. So, think it adorable. So they obviously say CD on them and they're in a beautiful fold. And they're going to be more of a stud earrings. So these ones were priced right under $22, by the way. I'm just noticing I have all these freaking hangnails. How gross, I am so, so, so sorry. I really need to do my nails. So they are stuck in place, which I really like. So they're not gonna be like, moving around shifting i definitely really like how they're stuck in place and then they have a super cute crystal rim so it just dresses it up a little bit i love the size of these i just really like studs especially with little rhinestones or just with a little bit of a design that's a bit more of just like little rhinestone um because you can dress them up and dress them down but let's take out these gorgeous little hoops and put on our little christian dior $22 ish earrings <laughs> on the back. It's so 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 tiny, but it does have some wording Hopefully you can see that So definitely a really really nice inspired item <laughs> Can't wait Always tell myself I need to stop doing that because I look like like it just does it's not cute, but I keep doing it So from afar, this is what they're looking like. They definitely catch the light with the little um, rhinestone circle outline. Definitely very cute. Like I like how you can still like see them, but they're not like in your face. Like that's definitely my little happy medium there. They're so cute. Let's get up close so you can actually see the detailing. All right, so you can totally see that they say CD and the way the post up here is made It kind of looks like a little ear huggy, which is super super cute and Then here's the other side 
so freaking cute definitely worth the 22 dollars because they look exact and they are also 18 karat gold plated you say 18 karat gold so i'm assuming that it's either the post that is 18 karat gold or it's gold plated they never like clarify and then sometimes you can see writing on the post but it's so so tiny i need like a magnifier that does like times a hundred it's so small so they do say 18 karat gold i don't know which one it is but it is really nice that either way it's kind of more of a hyperallergenic earring so it fits for more people <laughs> so this next item i almost forgot i got it i was reading on the box and it said straw shoulder summer handbag and i was like wait i got a straw bag but then I remembered I saw this really cute Chloe inspired purse. All right, so, oh, look how cute. Look at the little design. Okay, I'm super excited. So, we have these super cute little ribbon here. It's definitely given Chloe, that's for sure. Like 100% giving Chloe. What does it say though? It says Chia Second. Chia Second. And then it has a little um, pack down here. So freaking cute. I definitely really like these handles. Like, look, they're pretty, like, dang structured. And then on the inside, it's definitely just a little small purse. The actual fabric is more of a fabric. Like, it's not that crunchy plastic. And it is cream, but I think because since this bag is cream, like it goes really well with it. It's definitely a smaller bag, but I just thought this design was so cute. And yeah, it gives freaking Chloe, you guys. The straps are also super cute with how they're secured with a little knot on this like little metal piece. Super beautiful. And then the actual closure is a little snap closure. Very easy. So cute. So this one's like definitely just a bucket bag. Like literally there's no pocket sewn inside or anything like that. So you would want to have like your own organizational little insert or little bags. So cute. And it's meant to just be like a little shoulder bag. So... There's not any other strap that comes with it, but this design, is, it's so freaking cute. I can't stop saying it, but let me get you up close because it is straw. And then it has that black outline, which this, which this bag, I believe, comes in like a white outline, a tan, which I was contemplating that. But I just love the contrast of the dark and the light. Just beautiful, 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 beautiful. The back is plain, you guys, and then the bottom does have a little black patent leather. The side, super cute. Let's step back so we can see what it actually looks like on. So, it's supposed to be just like a little shoulder bag. This is what we're looking like. How cute is this style? Definitely a little bit more boho chic given summer it's given beach i love this bag i like the size as well i'm a small bag girl so this is like right up my alley this is what it looks like in the nook of my arm not bad the contrast you can definitely really like make it pop with your outfit which i really like that straw bags are like so in definitely a really cute and good inspired piece up close very nice and very cute oops oopsies this definitely would be really cute once it's like filled out with your stuff um, but it's kind of laying a little flat for me and that does keep kind of falling off there we go it's just because it's not weighed down once it's weighed down it will really be more secure but Definitely given some Chloe vibes. 
This bag is right under $20, which is definitely more on the affordable side. Again, like same pricing with like Ross, Marshalls, but you actually get a really cute inspired piece. So definitely a good one. I've never hauled Chloe, I don't think before, but I would say this is a dang good inspired piece. Well, that is it for today's haul. Let me know which was your favorite piece, just like my earrings or my bracelet i think i like this bracelet a lot i'm not even gonna lie definitely really beat my expectations and i feel like when a product does that i like like it a lot more so i don't know that's probably just me so cute i have been really into mixing my metals as well so i always wear like gold and silvers and i don't know i just like the way it looks that is it you guys i hope you guys have a great day like i mentioned in the beginning make sure you like this video hit subscribe if you haven't already you can check out some of my other like videos of like the video series of this down below as well as all the links to these products but i will see you in my next video bye guys